National Educator. Welcome here. This is Science and Technology right here at Edu Channel. I'm your host, Alexandra. This is the place to learn. This is the place to educate yourself. Always tune in for us, and we're always glad to have you. I have Mwalimu here. Mwalimu, please introduce yourself. Thank you for having me. I am teacher Elizabeth Kunga. I teach Science and Technology, and today we are going to do much on science and technology. Welcome. Mwalimu, please, we, last time we did talk about the projector screen. Yes. Would you care to summarize what we talked about last time? Just to remind you a little of our theme is on energy conservation, of which light is part of our energy, that yes. being our substrate. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about light, how do we use the light around us. And that's why we came to make a projector screen where we can put our still images. Mm -hmm. And there we had all this to use. Remember, I had pieces of wood. Or papyrus or bamboo. And you wondered about the, the, the piece of cloth, uh -huh. what it was meant for. I had the hammer, which everybody else was scared about. <laughs> then we also had the pair of scissors. Yes. What did we do? When we had all this, we were actually working on making a projector screen for still images. And how did we make it? First, remember, I had my wood, the four pieces. The four pieces, I am able to make a shape. Mm -hmm. And this a shape, square. this shape can either be square rectangle any shape. any shape you love but in our case i have a square shape so i had to have four pieces of wood that are the same length yes what did i do what do, do we do with them first we make what we call a sketch what did we call it do you remember well we it's more like a frame we put them side by side and then we hammered them together Yes, so we just put them together. Yes. Using a nail, using a nail, you put it there. You can use your friend to hold for you. Of course, your friend. Always do this with your friend. Learn together. And make sure you don't hammer your friend with a hammer. No way. This is only for the wood. For the wood. Not for your Thank body. you. Don't so hurt yourself. I'll have to hit it there. And then it sticks there. Then I get another one, you put it on the same point, and then you stick it there with a nail. So you'll have your frame. Uh -huh. So the frame, we had the frame just as we had it. And then after you've made your frame, you get to your piece of cloth. And remember, your piece of cloth cannot be creased or wrinkled. It has to be neat and straight. Excellent. Iron it if you have to. Beautiful. I love that. This is very good. You have to make it straight so that your images appear beautiful as and it re light yes. reflects on the screen. Yes. So actually the piece of cloth will be our screen. Mm -hmm. So you cut it according to the size of your frame. frame. You place your frame and cut it according to the size of the frame. Remember in English we learn you cut the coat according, according to the, the size of the house. You learned that from your English teacher? Yes, I yes. did. Yes. So you come here and do the same with our frame. And we make a beautiful, beautiful frame. Indeed. And therefore we had our frame here. A frame that you can hang in your house, that you can use, that can make your room more beautiful, 
that you can put whichever pictures you want to put here of yourself, of your friends. Yeah.